Good evening, everyone. My name is Ivana Miranda. Okay, so let's not make any assumptions as we bring together two very, very different individuals. We've got Meredith Baxter over here, uh, you know, famous TV star, Sarah Palin, famous uh, political matron of honor, shall we call her. Okay, so in the playground of my mind, we've got Meredith Dahl over here, representing the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender population. Then over here, we've got my conservative evangelical population. And yes, maybe they're on two very different ends of the playground, but they're still on the same playground together. Okay, I love how vulnerable um, Meredith can be. You know, she's, she's shared she has dealt with abuse, you know, all sorts of uh, trauma in her life. Um, whereas Sarah, she's more of, you know, the one who likes to hear herself growl, you know. She likes to feel the power to be in control. The desire for dominance on the one hand. Think of Janet Jackson's control versus Karen Carpenter over here singing Rainy Days and Mondays. And yet Meredith, you know, she, she discovered a quiet strength in that time of, of, of need. And so that's a beautiful thing. I love how they play opposites. You know, her life is a mess, but yet Meredith convinces the world that she's America's most successful mom. And Sarah, well, she's trying to rid herself of the goody two-shoes image that she has going on and, you know, going rogue. She's a tough girl. But what do they all have in common? They're, they're both mothers, you know, family ties versus Sarah Palin's Alaska. Who did not want Elise Keaton as their mom? You know, I did. Uh, Sarah Palin's Alaska, well, you know, maybe not the same quality, but I'm sure her, her kids are very grateful to have her as a mother. They're also grandmothers, public figures, female role models, thrown in the spotlight by other people. Meredith by her mother, um, Sarah by John McCain. And well, there was a strategy there somewhere, I'm sure. But one, once they got into the spotlight, they, they knew how to use the media. It was very necessary, important for them both to gain public support, and they did that through their books, their interviews. They're very smart, entrepreneurial women who knew how to make it big. Okay, so they also had the rainbow in common. A rainbow is a beautiful symbol, on one hand, of the strength and beauty and diversity, and on the other hand, a promise of God's faithfulness to his own promises. And yes, these are not mutually exclusive. How about that? Okay, so I realize that tea parties are not all that safe these days, but we're going to invoke the innocence of youth and the grace of old age, and we're going to bring these two to ladies together, and we're going to have a little chit-chat. Okay, so the first thing we want to talk about is pride. So Mary says, oh, yeah, yeah, that's me. Um, you know, I am, I am valued. I have infinite value that has been given to me at birth, and nobody can take that away from me. And Sarah jumps in. She says, yeah, even before birth, we were given that value. That's the good kind of pride. You know, that's dignity, and that's important. But then there's also the bad kind of pride. You know, what's that? Um, that's when you say, oh, dear God, you know, thank you so much that I'm not like her over there or that community over there. And she's quite acrobatic as she's doing this, as she's talking. You know, she's taking the foot out of her own mouth. But then they move on to talk about overcoming. Um, and Sarah actually says, you know, Meredith, I haven't gone through the same amount of difficulties and struggles that you have. And I say hats off to you. If, if I had to go through something like that, I would like to know that the God would give me the strength, the strength and the grace that he gave to you as, as you went through those sorts of things in your life. And Meredith just nods appreciatively. You know, for a moment, they're actually seeing eye to eye for a second. And it's amazing. Let's also talk about mothering in the spotlight. You know, Meredith is a very private person. She wanted to keep her kids, you know, tucked away private. Uh, whereas, you know, Sarah, she's all about let them go, you know, fly off the edge of the cliff. If there's an opportunity, why not? But it's parenting. Let's also talk about bullying. Absolutely unacceptable, says Sarah. Absolutely unacceptable, says Meredith. Okay, so... Um, Maybe that can be the new campaign mantra for 2012. No bullying. I get so excited. I'm saying, let's talk about marriage. They both look at me and they say, let's not. Okay, so then what about intimacy? And they both want to talk over each other. Um, yeah, it's not just about SEX. It's about, you know, really connecting on a heart level with someone. And I look at them and I say, what are you guys, girls? Oh, my goodness. So then we move on to freedom. Um, and finally, it slows down a little bit, and Meredith says, you know, it's hard to have freedom in the spotlight. And Sarah says, you know, you're right, but I'm sure there is a freedom that goes beyond what anybody can imagine, and I'm not going to stop until I find that. Well, the beautiful thing is that these ladies are both on a journey. The tragedy of Madame Butterfly is not either of their stories, and it's a beautiful thing. And at the end of the day, they are not 
all work and no play kind of girls. They're singing right along with Sheryl Crow and Cindy Lauper, singing all about having fun. And at the end of the day, I say, hats off, more power to you. Thank you.